Joining us today for primetime local news is Tigre Lee Campbell and Brad Gallimar with Lloydminster and Vermilion for Equity. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Now, we are talking about a post online about a huge donation drive in December. Can you tell us more about this? Yes. So the donation drive is being held on Sunday, December 19th. Um, it is going to coincide with our straight teen days, so we're able to hit both. Um, we are accepting winter clothing, jackets, sweaters, um, snow pants, ski pants. We are in really big need of those. Um, hygiene products, um, sleeping bags, and um, monetary donations that can be sent to our email. Um, ours is being held on December 19th. There's also one being held in Calgary on the same day, December 19th. Um, and the one that's being held in Edmonton um, is being held on December 4th. Now, who is the drive-in collaboration with for all of this? Um, we're collaborating with uh, A Fight for Equity and uh, E2S, the Edmonton Two-Spirit Society in Edmonton. Um, and I think that's it, Brad. Uh, and in Calgary, we will be uh, members of BLM YYC in collaboration with uh, getting donations for Barry Clan Patrol in Calgary. And then mm -hmm. uh, the Edmonton one will be collecting donations for Water Warriors YEG and Barry Clan Edmonton. How many of these drives does your group like to have throughout the year? Is there going to be more coming up in the future? There will be multiple ones in the future. Um, as to how many we like to have, I don't think that there's um, a set number, um, especially with us starting up street team. Um, we are having them more frequently because we are just going through um, the, do the donations quicker, especially with winter coming up. Um, they are layering up, they're layering up clothing. So we're going through it a lot more, especially the hats and the mitts and the hand warmers and things like that. And I know you've already listed off a few items so far, Tigra, early on in the interview, but can you go a little bit more in depth with what the most essential items are needed for this drive, just for people that might not be aware and so they can know exactly what they can come and bring? Mm -hmm. Brad, do you want to take that one? Yeah, so some big ticket items uh, like long underwear and socks, uh, specifically new underwear, sorry, folks. Um, but we are looking for like, those are really good to have. They go through really fast. Um, one day in the snow, your socks are done, right? So mm -hmm. uh, especially like big boots, big winter boots. Um, and then again, the jackets and the sweaters are very important. And then of course, keeping our hands and our toes and our extremities warm. So the mitts and the toques are always pretty much anything you could think of if you were going to a football game in late December. For people that might be busy or they might accidentally miss the drive, of course, what other ways can they help support? Um, they can share our posts. That's one simple way that everyone can support. Um, they can make a monetary donation. If they're not able to come on the, on the day, we do have a drop-off location um, at Residence in Recovery um, where they can drop don donations off there. Or um, you can also reach out to myself or Brad and schedule a drop-off for a pickup. Perfect. Is there anything else you'd like to add uh, just for what's up? What else is coming up here? Uh, well, before we get to what's coming up, I will mention, so tents and sleeping bags are another huge ticket item. Uh, they come in really handy in the winter. Keeping yourself out of the wind and the cold is vital and important and will save lives. So if you have some camping gear that you're especially not using right now, uh, we would really appreciate any donations of that caliber. Absolutely. And um, for the sleeping bags, the regular sleeping bags are really good. Um, but especially with the winter months right now, we are looking for Arctic um, sleeping bags, sleeping bags that are able to withstand um, temperatures of up to um, 100 or minus 50 and, and uh, lower. Is there anything else you'd like to add with what's coming up in the future that people should know about? So on Sunday, it will also coincide with our street team day. We will have street team at 1 p.m. Um, at 2 p.m., we are uh, organizing a solidarity event with Wet'suwet'en, and um, we will be starting at 2 p.m. at the RCMP building. Perfect. Well, once again, thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us, Shelby. Thank you.